Hello, my peeps. My name is Jerome, but you can call me the No Merchant. I'm here to show you guys two different types of media that impact our culture negatively and positively. One of them is this. She Rock Trash. In a recent He Man series, our very bad, in her own right, from the competent writers to the directors at the top, they give it a bad reputation in Western media. What I'm more interested in showing you guys is this. sequences to exaggerated facial features to expressive movements from talented artists that bring anime to life. So I highly recommend you check this out in the trash I showed you before. I rest my case. Go watch that instead. So I'll be gone. But you didn't hear none of this from me. What smell? Cookies in here? Uh, uh, uh oh, okay, th 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 this is, this is embarrassing. Uh, uh, I'll be gone now. Bye! Many inspiring creators go out of their way to make franchises and characters that resonate with audiences. Often, taking background knowledge of different cultures, historical figures, and life experiences to create unique designs for their concept of how the character will look. Artists throughout various decades have made many memorable franchises filled with great characters such as Dragon Ball Z, Spongebob, Naruto, One Piece, Ratchet & Clank, Sly Cooper, Jack & Daxter, Looney Tunes, Scooby-Doo, Chaotic, Sonic, Kung Fu Panda, Digimon, the list goes on. With a variety of different franchises, there is one artist that created properties that sparked a worldwide phenomenon and that person who faced those odds were manga artist and character designer Akira Toriyama. Lead character designer for both the iconic Dragon Ball and Dragon Quest series, he strove to build franchises where people can enjoy them as a means of escapism and through thrills of adventures. Right now, in this video, it's my special pleasure to talk about Toriyama's influences to becoming a character designer and well-known manga artist that he is today. It all started with paper, pencils, and a pinch of creativity. On uh, second thought, let me stop before I get into this juicy material to let you all know to subscribe to the channel, tell your friends, associates, or some completely random person to which happened to be your long lost friend which would get really awkward and confusing but anyways subscribe and click that notification bell for future videos subsequently about 99.1% oh, of no. you are not subscribed so make sure to do that before you forget it and let's get on with the video G Game Master 16 Akira Toriyama, born in the city of Nagoya Aichi Prefecture, Japan, to his parents Karazu and Tombi Toriyama on April 5, 1955. During his childhood, he enjoyed his free time by drawing characters and manga with his friends, since in the 50s and 60s they weren't as tech savvy if you know what I'm saying, right? 
Anyways, he was fascinated by this profession when he drew a unique style of a 101 Dalmatians picture and turned it in as an entry at his local art studio for a manga competition sponsored by Jump Magazine and got a prize for his work. Yeah! Additional fun fact time! Did you know that Toriyama's father owned an auto repair business and liked motorcycle racing? So Toriyama inherited his love of cars and motorcycles from his father. Back on track, in 1974, he went to school to study art, specializing in publicity, but decided to leave and enroll in cartoon drawing in 1977. Back in 1975, when he left school at 20 years old, he had a job at an advertising company which involved designing posters for clients in Nagoya. He worked there for about two and a half years until he quit to pursue the creative, limitless possibilities with creating mangas. When he was looking for work in 1977, he stumbled upon the monthly Young Jump Award contest sponsored by Shueisha, the largest manga publishing company in Japan. To test out if his work was worthy to hit Japan's manga stores, he participated in a competition by making his mangas A Wawa World in 1977 and Mysterious Rain Jack in 1978 as they both failed tremendously as he gained nothing back. After his manga Mysterious Rain Jack, he had an unexpected call from Kazuhiko Torishima, an employee who works for Shueisha's Weekly Shonen Jump, who took interest in his work and told him to push his limits and become better. Taking Torishima's advice, he published another manga called Tomato, Girl Detective, in 1979 in Weekly Shonen Jump that earned a little praise, but that's only the start of his success. He also created the manga Wonder Island in 1978 to begin his career as a manga writer. Suddenly, in January 1980, his success started to rise with his comedy manga Dr. Slump, about an old professor that builds a robot girl that's really strong named Dorali. It took Japan by storm, as it sold 35 million copies and it was published in Weekly Shonen Jump from 1980 to 1984. The series was also published in about 18 Tankabon volumes. Between the years 1981 and 1984, he created short mangas that did pretty well, like Polar and Royd which allowed him to win the 1981 contest for the Shonen Jump manga artist and then Pink in 1982. Toriyama also got married in 1982 to Yoshimi Kato aka Nachi Mikami who was a former manga artist but stopped her career after the marriage. As Akira Toriyama was climbing the charts as a manga creator, he would make a couple of friends who were rising manga artists at the time like Mazakazu Katsura which he would collaborate with Toriyama for future projects. As a side note, Toriyama's sources of inspiration to create his mangas are from Nozamu Tezuka's Astro Boy. He's a big fan of Godzilla and Ultraman. He was impressed by Walt Disney's 101 Dalmatians as that was his gateway to doing manga in the first place. And he's also a big fan of Jackie Chan films like The Drunken Master. And he's such a big fan of Star Wars films too that he inserted many Star Wars references in his early mangas like Mysterious Rain Jack in 1978, the sequel to his original manga Wonder Island, and many Dr. Slump chapters. His success of the Dr. Slump manga led to the production company Toei Animation to spawn two television adaptations of the manga such as Dr. Slump and Chan from 1981 and 1986 on Fuji TV with 243 episodes and a remake based on the Doctor series from November 26, 1997 to September 22, 1999. In addition, 11 movies came out of the Doctor Slump series including one based on the 1997 remake. Before the remake, Takao Koyama and Katsuyoshi Nakatsuru made a 4 volume manga sequel to Doctor Slump from 1994 to 1996. Later, Toriyama made a short sequel to Dr. Slump titled Dr. Mashirido and Abale-chan in 2007. As Toriyama wanted more independence to create his own work, he developed his own work studio called Bird Studio in 1983. From there, he would make two mangas called Dragon Boy and The Adventures of Tong Po, which were prototypes for his best series to date, Dragon Ball.
Akira Toriyama's career reached a major high coming off Dr. Slump and soon will reach extreme heights with his creation of the Dragon Ball franchise. In 1984, Toriyama first published the Dragon Ball manga and easily became a major hit. His Dragon Ball inspiration came from a Chinese folklore that he loved, Journey to the West, which is a story that's loosely covered through four sections, but Toriyama focuses on the first story with the Monkey King, Sun Wukong, since that was one character concept he wanted for a boy main character named Goku. He combined that story with elements from Hong Kong martial arts films to create Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball is about a boy who has a tale that knows martial arts taught to him by his grandpa. He then meets a teen girl named Bulma to collect seven mystical orbs called the Dragon Balls that the pair get into many crazy adventures. The manga reached 156 sold copies in Japan in Weekly Shonen Jump and was the most influential shonen manga. Fun fact, Dragon Ball was first an adventure series and transformed into a martial arts series. Toriyama worked on the manga from 1984 to 1995 with 519 chapters collected into 42 Tankabon volumes. On average, 200 pages for each volume, so the entire Dragon Ball storyline extends to almost 9,000 pages. This was the peak of Toriyama's career and Dragon Ball managed to receive three television series from Dragon Ball to Dragon Ball Z to Dragon Ball GT by Toei Animation. It was such a success that it sold 240 copies around the world including Europe and North America. In the 90s, the Dragon Ball anime in the United States aired from August 20th, 2001 to December 1st, 2003 compared to the Japan airing on Fuji TV from 1986 to 1989. After the original Dragon Ball series, the series matured into Dragon Ball Z with an adult Goku and his son Gohan with it airing in Japan on Fuji TV from 1989 to 1996 compared to the US airing on Cartoon Network's Toonami from 1998 to 2003. Then, Dragon Ball GT was made that it doesn't entirely involve Akira Toriyama's original Dragon Ball series but was approved by him, so Toei Animation can make the TV series. The character designer for this series is Katsuyoshi Nakatsuru and the anime ran for 64 episodes in Japan on Fuji TV from 1996 to 1997 compared to the US airing from 1996 also to 1997. The whole Dragon Ball franchise spawned 13 movies, 2 TV specials, and a continuing series called Dragon Ball Super. In the 2000s, Toriyama continued to write manga including Cross Epoch that involves crossover with Dragon Ball and other anime such as One Piece in 2006, Sanche Chan Good in 2008, Gia in 2009, and Delicious Island's Mr. Yu also in 2009 for Weekly Shonen Jump. He took a break from anime until in 2013 he made a comeback movie for Dragon Ball fans called Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods that featured new characters Beerus and Whis which character designs are totally awesome. Then Toriyama made Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F movie in 2014. After the critical success of those two movies, Toriyama made an anime slash manga of Dragon Ball Super with a movie in 2018 called Dragon Ball Super Broly. Recently, Toriyama is working with Toyotaro, a new manga writer, to continue the Dragon Ball Super manga with many exciting projects to come in the future. As I went over the many aspects of Toriyama's career, I'm going to highlight the few other franchises Akira Toriyama created. In 1986, he was confronted by Yuji Horii, designer and creator of video games, to have him design the characters and creatures for Horii's new RPG Dragon Quest that had many titles over the years with the main series starting in 1986 with Dragon Quest 1.
to the series recent game Dragon Quest XI, but with an upcoming game in the works, Dragon Quest XII Flames of Fate on the way. Also, he created the character designs of a 1995 game called Chrono Trigger developed by Square, aka now Square Enix. Akira Toriyama has made some very interesting characters over the years and is continuing to surprise people around the world with his craft. To declare a satisfying pit stop on his journey, Akira Toriyama is an imaginative artist that set the standard for manga to be more expressive, but have every main protagonist that's part of Weekly Shonen Jump very compelling with an interesting design. With his background knowledge of certain activities growing up along with his love for animals, his distinct style of character design separates itself from all the other recent shonen animes and regular animes of today. Even though he ran into a few bumps in a row with his work at the beginning, he managed to pull through by creating some of the best manga franchises ever. Akira Toriyama is an idealist that dreams big and executes quality in his projects for the fans of his franchises around the world. Anyways, that's the story of the manga artist Akira Toriyama, and shout out to him for his amazing work and character design. Again, make sure you subscribe, and remember to keep your chill rate 100.